All right, so this tutorial is actually a little bit different. It was cut from the recent live stream that we had. To follow the live streams live, we're basically doing a little bit of Minecraft live modding and then sometimes also playing a bit of Minecraft at the end. Just follow the link in the description below and then you'll get to my Twitch channel. Otherwise, enjoy the tutorial. How do you add tooltips to blocks? Well, actually, it is a fairly straightforward process. Now, here the thing about it is that, once again, a little bit of Java knowledge is very much... Well, a key to this, because what you can do is you can simply with basically the same idea as the item group, you can pass in stuff via a new parameter and you can basically overload method. So what we're going to do is we're literally just going to take th both those methods here. And of course, we're going to get an insane amount of errors here. And then we're just going to say, well, the tooltip requires a string. So we're just going to say, well, string tooltip. So this is what is going to be displayed in the tooltip. And I'm going to add the same thing for the register block method. And then we're going to make this an anonymous class. We're going to do something like that. And then we simply will override the add information method in here. And then what we can do is we can say, oh, that's not good. That's good. Actually, let's um, call this tooltip. Oh, no, tooltip string or something like that, because this one is already called tooltip. Might run into some issues there. We're going to say tooltip dot add. And then we're going to just going to make a new string text component. And we're going to pass in the tooltip string here and bam. That's it. Right. And then here we're going to pass in also the tooltip string. So now we can literally just go in here and for example, for the dead account and coral, we can just put a comma there. And as you can see, now we have two different variants of the same method. And then we can say something like seems dead to me, man. Sure. Why not? Because it's dead coral. You know, that's uh, that's the, the idea. That's actually how easy it can be to to add the the stuff here. Like it's it's not actually anything else. Now, I will agree that, you know, it's I would say it's like semi-intermediate Java knowledge. Uh, the method overloading should be fairly straightforward, actually, because we now, of course, have, you know, two different methods with the same name, but they are still different methods. General idea. That's why I was like, hey, let's just do that quickly. Um, yeah, so that's uh, basically how easy it can be to add the tooltips. Let's actually see if it actually has worked. Get out of this and let's see. So it doesn't have a name because we haven't added the name to the to the stuff. But come on, man. It has a... Seems dead to me, man. That's that's actually how easy it is. Yeah, there you go. Yes, this definitely... Of course, yeah. yeah. Um, this should definitely be a translatable text component. And then in theory, well, yes, then you would have to pass in the key up here instead of um, passing in the, well, the, the tooltip. So if you make this a um, a translation text component, then this would be the tooltip key in theory, right? So tooltip key, and then this one tooltip key, and then tooltip key and tooltip key, and then this one could be something like tooltip dot block dot uh, what is this live stream mod dot, and then you do something like open open coral underscore dead. That's quite the crazy key, but yeah, you could also do that, which is probably like a better idea. I actually agree with you, but yeah, yeah okay, let's add a, a color as well, sure. Oh, that's not gonna work, wait a second, that's not gonna work here. I have to do that in there, wait a second. No, no, I have to take this, and then I have to take that to the en underscore usjson file, and then we're gonna say tooltip is going to be, and then I can paste that in. Uh, let me copy this, and then we're gonna say seems, no, I think that this way, seems dead to me, man. So now we have uh, set up this one, and this one should actually um, also work. Seems dead to me, man. Um, and this time with the translation text component, which is, of course, a little bit more robust than just putting in a string text component. That is completely correct. Because there it is. Seems dead to me, man. Pretty good. I like it. So there it is. Some custom tooltips for blocks. Okay, well, I guess, um, well, that's the, that's the tooltips. I hope you found that useful and you learned something new. If you did, I would, of course, appreciate a like. And don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials just like this one. So, yeah.